Hi, my name is Colin Hill, and if this is your first time to my YouTube channel, please like and subscribe. Here I am in my endless pool. This is where I do most of my coaching, and generally it's for people trying to improve their efficiency for front crawl. But I really enjoy it when I get people coming along who want to improve their breaststroke. This is often people who've never had a lesson before, and they realize that their stroke is just very inefficient. I'm sure you've seen the type of stroke before. This is where the arms are whirling around, the head is up, Sometimes they've got a dodgy breaststroke kick and the timing just isn't right. So there's a few simple steps that I take to try and improve people's efficiency when doing breaststroke. Now this isn't competitive breaststroke. This is people who just want to swim breaststroke maybe in the open water in the pool and they want to just improve. Now breaststroke is about timing. Timing is so important as well as that really nice powerful kick you want to get gliding through the water after that lovely kick. So that's what we're going to work on. Now, obviously, I spend an hour in the endless pool going through different stages, but here's just sort of a bit of a recap what I'm doing. So the time with breaststroke, again, for beginners, it's very much, it is pull, breathe, kick and glide. That's what we're going to work on. So first of all, what I do is I just try and get the swimmer who maybe isn't used to having their head in the water, just get comfortable, just get comfortable. Now, what they're gonna start off doing is just pushing off with a glide, but that's their hands and feet together. This is very important because the hand and feet together, this is what they're gonna come back to when they're doing their full stroke. So we're gonna push off with the glide, hand and feet together, the head position, not looking down at the bottom of the pool, because then you've got a long way to come up for that breath. So we're gonna get the head looking forwards, and we're gonna start off just with a glide, and that's it. We're gonna stop, stand up, review the video that we've done for them, and then we'll do that a couple of times. Once they're comfortable with that, the next thing we do is they push off with their hands and feet together, blowing bubbles. So when the face is in the water, they're getting used to blowing bubbles, just do that one time, and then they come out of the water. The next stage is to push off, and we're gonna try and do that. The first thing we're gonna think of is just do a pull, breathe, kick, hands and feet back together, and then glide. That's all they're gonna do. And we'll practice that a few times. Pushing off with their hands and feet together, coming up for the breath, so pull, breathe, kick, and glide. Okay, once we've done one stroke, and we've got that as good as we can, then we'll try and do two strokes like that. So pushing off, and hands and feet together, and it's pull, breathe, kick, and glide. Looking forwards, breathing out, pull, breathe, kick, and glide. So then we've got two strokes. Once they can do two strokes like that, then they're really, that's the timing sorted. That's what they're gonna work at. They're not gonna move their hands as they push off, pull, breathe, kick and glide. They don't move their hands again until their heels have clicked together. Then they do the same again. Pull, breathe, kick and glide. When those feet come together, then they start the hands. We have to really get that glide going so they're getting the benefit of the kick. Now, once we've got the timing right, then we're gonna look into the detail of the stroke. Now, what I often see is people swimming and their arms going out here into the crucifix position, and they're trying to come around, the hands go really deep and they come through. Now, we don't wanna have the hands past the elbows. So what I wanna to start to introduce is looking at their, their actual pull, which is very much small, circular motion in front of them and gliding forwards. Now, I said the elbows are bending, they're coming towards their belly button, then the hands are coming forwards together. Elbows bending and forwards together. So we'll practice with the arm pull, just trying to reduce the amount of strain on their shoulders by having that small breath, just getting the head up to breathe and back down. Now, as I mentioned, competitive breaststroke is very different. There's lots of different styles for that. But this is just to try and reduce stress in the shoulders and make them go through the water much easier. The breaststroke kick. Now, you've probably seen a lot of people with a screw kick where one foot is going up 
and it's not actually getting the water at all. The endless pool here is perfect for correcting a screw kick. To try and self-correct it, just to think about it and try and correct it, it's almost impossible because your brain doesn't actually realize how dodgy that kick is. So in this endless pool, I have a mirror on the bottom. When people are swimming, they can look in that mirror. So I do a little drill where they hold on to the front, they look down in the mirror, they can see their legs and they can make the adjustment themselves. And they can actually get the feet to coordinate together, heels to the bottom, feet turning out and pushing that water back. Heels to the bottom, feet turning out, pushing that water back and their feet are coming together at the end of each stroke. So after we've worked on the breaststroke kick, again, it's so important. We want to make sure, again, I see a lot of people where they kick and they kick and they go out as far as they can and then their feet drift together. They kick, they go out as far as they can and their feet go together. Now you wouldn't want to be in the same lane as that person when they're doing that big wide kick. So again, I'm looking at their feet coming heels to the bottom, feet turning out and thinking very much about their feet coming straight together. So obviously it's like a frog coming straight together. There's a few ways you can practice that, again, to get more efficient. One is on your back, very good in a pool, to swim on your back, holding onto a float. And again, you can look at your feet or you can feel the feet tend to go into that better position on your back. The drill that I really like to improve that with in this pool is one pull, two kicks. So the swimmer, Pushes off, hands and feet together, pull, kick, glide, and then they hold the glide and they do a second kick. Pull, breathe, kick, and then a second kick. The idea is on that second kick, they can really focus about what the feet is doing. Often the first kick is just a reflex and it's very hard to think about what the kick is doing. It's the second kick where they can start to pull together. So that's a very good drill, what I like to do. Okay, as I said, that's very briefly how I like to work with my swimmers when they come in and they want to improve their breaststroke. But come along and join me. I'm ba I'm, this company is called All's Water Swim Place. I'm based next to the lake here. I've got my endless pool. I also take people out into the open water. You can find me on allswaterswimplace.com. But thank you very much. And as I said, if you like this video, please hit the like button and do subscribe. I've got hundreds and hundreds of other videos on open water swimming and swimming technique. Thank you very much.